And now, once again, I would like to ask to join me on stage, Mr. Paco Barao. Okay, hello again. Well, what I would like, uh, as we usually do in the in the, these congresses, is giving you a kind of, let's say, overall report of what we have been doing, trying to achieve, where we were, where we stand, and if possible, to talk a little bit about our plans for future. The difference with uh, the past uh, progress reports uh, I was uh, doing by myself, I think it's much more, uh, let's say, tied to the reality that this is a teamwork done by all the people who are uh, part of uh, our board of directors. And uh, so then we will uh, have split uh, the progress report on a generic, let's say, overview I'm going to give you. Then our friends of, uh, say, Marta Morales would talk about the social activities and children's races. Horst Milde would talk about our Ames uh, Museum of Running, the Marathoneum in Berlin. Uh, Frank Bailly will talk about communications. Um, then Al Boca will give you, uh, let's say, the financial uh, report. And I don't know if I forget someone, but I'm sorry, <laughs> we'll see that, okay? So let's go. Since uh, Athens, as you recall, will be, was in November, uh, I would like, first of all, thank you all who give us your opinions and your, let's say, comments, suggestions, recommendations at the uh, survey we, uh, we, will we perform at the end of Athens, as well as we will do here. Okay, so, so even if the overall uh, result, as you can see them, was, uh, I would say, very good, there were a lot of um, several uh, recommendations, suggestions, we have been trying to uh, give uh, answers in order that at uh, this uh, Congress some improvements, some better solutions have been given to a lot of different aspects from the food back to the reports with the only, uh, I would say, um, limit of uh, what uh, in uh, Europe now is uh, uh, called the data, the personal data protection. We will be, by the way, will be the subject of the next symposium in Athens in November. So, as you know, the marathon races uh, are a wide uh, spectrum. Even uh, our family, uh, we, we could consider us the fathers of the movement of running, which now has gone through the mountain, goes to ultra, through, through duathlons, marathon, etc. I think we all belong to more or less the same family of uh, distance uh, running uh, athletics. For you to know, uh, we renew, we set up an agreement with the Athens, uh, with the Greek government, as well as the uh, Greek uh, Athletics Federation, SEGAS, in 2011. So we have our headquarters at the Olympic Stadium in, uh, in Athens. Avenue Spiros Luis, for you, uh, if you remember, was the gold medalist at the first Olympic Games in 1896. And uh, we renew our agreement with uh, SEGAS and the um, Greek government. Uh, and we have uh, now a non ended time for having our offices there at the Olympic Stadium. As I said before, uh, the progress report will be split by all these people and uh, the last uh, minute and because of some flight problem, 
uh, Makis Asimakopoulos will be in charge of showing you what we do as events in Greece, will come tonight instead of what we thought at the beginning. So the report of uh, our main, our patron sponsor, SEGAS, will be together with the area of events, uh, uh, AIMS events uh, report. So I would like, like always, to start by setting what, is our, what are our objectives. Objectives of AIMS are fostering and promoting distance running marathon and distance running around the world, working with IAAF in everything related to road races, international road races, and then exchanging information, knowledge, and expertise between members as we want to do with this Congress. The first one, uh, we have, uh, as I said, the details of all our programs of the, um, I showed before, will be given by some of us. So Marta Morales will talk about uh, the children's series with all details. Horst Milde will talk about the Marathoneum, the IMSS Marathon um, Museum of Running. Frank Bailly will talk about everything related to communications from distance running as a magazine through newsletters and uh, uh, we'll say booths and uh, everything. As I said before, Makis will talk about the events, most of them uh, being uh, organized in Athens, in Greece, which is the best marathon runner gala. The Marathon Flame, which is, uh, they just went to Mexico City last week. The World Record Award we are giving every time there is a world record broken. And we'll talk about symposium later. Working with IWF, here this is everything related to the area I would say the technical area, and um, allow me now to welcome Alessio Ponzi from IWF. Welcome, Alessio. Pleased to see you again. <laughs> okay. So this is what we do. We cooperate with uh, IWF as being part of the IWF Road Running Commission. Uh, we organize, let's say, seminars uh, on, uh, on on behalf of both organizations. And then there is something I would say very important. We just signed an agreement on road course measurement in order to give uh, a much more, I would say, uh, call it formal, formal uh, process to the uh, road uh, races, measurement, so certificates, so following that all our courses are duly uh, measured and there is no problem when any kind of record, any kind of performance is, uh, is being done, okay? Our international measurement administrators, we have here Dave Kundi from Oce Asia and Oceania, which is the technical director of this area for us. We have a Hugh Jones with us, who is the European, one of the European area, Latin languages, uh, sorry, uh, English languages. <laughs> uh, okay. We have Jean-Francois de la Salle in Paris, who manages the European Latin languages. And uh, we have a Bernie Conway in Canada for the Americas. As, we, as I mentioned before, all these seminars were uh, given because, as you can understand, uh, as the membership grows, the uh, needs of measurement also grows. So uh, we want to have uh, enough measurers all around the world in order to ensure that uh, the needs are covered at the minimum cost possible for our organizers. 
finally, what our third mission is exchanging information, expertise, and knowledge among members. And uh, here we have, uh, for you to know, every year and so since 2007, we organize a symposium at the time of the Athens Marathon, the authentic, and uh, we always treat a subject which we believe is important for the organizers. As I said before, this year will be the uh, new directive at the European Union related to the data protection um, in uh, our, let's say, way of working. A very, uh, I would say, and detailed uh, management to be followed by organization like us. Not us only as aims, but us as organizers in our races. Okay. For your information, this, this uh, year will be the 9th of November will be the gala, Best Marathon Runner Gala. The 10th will be the symposium. Uh, and the 11 will be the uh, um, Athens Marathon, the authentic. We organize, as you can very easily understand, uh, the, the World Congress of Aims uh, every almost, let's say, two years. Uh, and uh, so we will decide. This is also a very democratic, democratic way to do it. We will decide which is the next Congress by your vote, all the, the delegates of races present here. Okay. Uh, we are coming here, and this is something I would like to tell you about why we come to ask you for uh, changes in our, our articles of association. Very, we'll talk about uh, basically two little changes, but the base of this is that we have been trying for a long time to, uh, let's say, register our association. I think we have now the size and we are important enough to have a, a registered organization. So after having tried to do it in Monaco, it didn't work because our headquarters are in Athens and Monaco wants the headquarters of their uh, register organization in Monaco. We try in Athens and then the political situation in, in Greece didn't help us to do so. So we'll finally do it in the heart of the European Union in Luxembourg. But then we will have a special presentation of uh, those articles we will put for your, your, your vote and your acceptation, okay? Then how we, how we are growing. This is the number. Say, this is where we are. We got birth in 82 with uh, 28 races. And as you can see, we have been having a constant progress in the number of our membership. And uh, in parallel as the importance that the citizenship is giving to our sport. So the number of races all around the world grow, so our membership grows in parallel. This is a uh, really, and that number of people is obliging us to, let's say, organize our system, call it the system, uh, in a more st structured way with committees, and so I will have time to, to explain to you later, okay? We think that by working as we do, we should be able to reach more or less the 500 uh, races by the end of 2020. Uh, the distribution is like uh, you can see, but it's long. it grows, I would say the number of, uh, of races grows in parallel everywhere at the same level. We have uh, the Americas with uh, 85, Europe with 185, Africa 32, Asia 117 and Oceania 15. So, uh, and uh, I can, if I, I check 
the map we have four years ago, and more or less with little numbers, but the percentage of races are more or less the same. Okay. And uh, this is how our, let's say, members, our membership covers the world. So about 90% of the whole world is covered with at least one Ames race. Okay. Talking about finances, we have, as I said, a more detailed report from our treasurer, Alboca. But uh, I would like you to see, let's say, the, what, what I understand by the, the, the politics or the social or the strategy of the organization since the beginning. So, as you can see, we have been more or less having the same level of, uh, let's say, income, the revenues and expenses, okay? But I would like to show you what I think is the most important uh, figure of our organization. This is the total assets we have uh, around the years. So, whoever comes and sees that, it would seem that around 2009-2010, we have a, a problem, and now we are, let's say, stagnating at a half a million level of assets every year, okay? But there is something important to know, is that we started the children's races and the 25th anniversary in 19, uh, 2006 with the Ames Museum support, also in 2006, we started the symposium in the Marathon Frame in 2007, and we do the best marathon runner gala, I mean, in, since 2013. What that means? That means that if we didn't do anything on the social area, we have been growing our assets, and we'll be um, above one million this time. But this is not an organization done to, to have money. This is not our aim. This is not our, uh, our future, our, our objective. Our objective is, let's say, trying to, again, exchange information, foster and promote uh, running around the world, et cetera, et cetera. So, as you can see, our social investments, we, once we, we reach what we call the safety, safe level of, uh, of assets, then everything else we try to give, to give it back to other, uh, let's say, members, other activities which we believe promote running and allow the, the, the organizers to get a better knowledge and a better information, I mean, to, uh, to, to improve their races, okay? So as you can see, at this point in time, we are around, what I said before, 510, uh, $1,000 uh, for assets, but we are keeping, and we will see how we want to do it from now on, since we are growing also in the membership uh, later, our social investments on all the things I mentioned before uh, is about this, okay? With the, with the point that the best marathon gala and the symposium are covered by SEGAS and the Greek government. So this is, for us, this is transparent, okay? Our assets here belong to the children's races where we spend around $30,000 uh, a year. You will see that in more detail later. And the uh, Ames Marathon Museum, we want even to increase our help to them. For you, for information, this is the only museum in the world related to athletics. So if you go through Berlin, please go to the Olympic Stadium in Berlin, where aside the Olympic Stadium, we have uh, the Ames uh, Marathon uh, Museum. So finally, uh, how we do this? So very easy. Uh, you know that this is a non-for-profit uh, organization. So the only thing we can do, what, whoever is uh, working on this, is working, working, working. That's uh, the, the, only, the only strategy. This is where we keep. And I take advantage, I mean, to thank uh, Theo, 
Theodosius Livitsanos, our administrator at the headquarters, who is, uh, let's say, working alone, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, Theo, thank you. <laughs> so, this is uh, our, our job, is uh, having service to running since, uh, let's say, Boston uh, in 1982 to what we call Tallinn 2018, who is running the marathon on Sunday. Okay, good, 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 good. I cannot join you. I, I will do a 5K, that's it. <laughs> okay, so we will not do what we do without our sponsors. So let me thank our patron sponsor, Greece and the Hellenic Republic, the region of Attica, as well as Segas. Our sport partner, Health China. Thank you. We have a we enjoy the nice polos you, you are giving us uh, uh, for this Congress. And uh, the Medal Laser Partner uh, from Spain, the Registration Partner, uh, Ronet Global, the Marathon Photos, a big friend of us, Francis, should be around here. Uh, and uh, uh, our supplier, 1000K Medals. And uh, I saw Chris Troyanos uh, at the back. Uh, the medical advisory body of uh, International Institute of Race Medicine. I uh, recommend you to have a look at this and uh, trying to get with them. So this is, a, let's say, the, the generic and overall report. Thank you very much for coming and enjoy again. Yeah.